Hello gorgeous beautiful Aries. My name is Esty and I am here to do a reading, an uh, intuitive reading, uh, an energy reading for the remainder of October. Uh, this reading is good for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Uh, please keep in mind this is a general reading so it may or may not resonate with you. Um, I am setting the intention that um, spirit guides and angels join us for this reading and they guide my thoughts, my words and my hands uh, to bring through the messages that the people that watch this video most need to hear. Time is not linear so right here right now what people most need to hear the people that are drawn to watch this video the messages that they most need to hear about their own soul study so that's another thing i need to tell you warn you that if you're looking for a reading which is like it's gonna tell you what's gonna happen to you this reading may not be the right one for you because it's it's great i i love it i i watch it myself and i do it myself sometimes but um because time is not linear um everything everything is being created right now you are creating your own reality every single moment right now and right now and right now so um there are some most dominant energies but nothing is written because how time works is that how so the the nature of time and the nature of consciousness is such that nothing is written so i'm not like looking into the future or anything like that i'm just here to support you in showing up fully for your assignments um okay i really jumped something there <laughs> so I, I say this in the beginning of every video so you might have heard me say it but i'm just gonna say it again nature of time is that uh, there is only one now and everything expands from there in every direct uh, direction and the nature of consciousness is such that at a very basic level uh, everything that ever happened everything that's ever going to happen and everything that is possible is already happening right now or is happening right now and it's just that what um what we choose to observe is what is going to give us our life experience our it, what's going to give us our experience the nature of consciousness imagine like like uh your observation like your consciousness is being pulled through this line of observation and you can choose to observe something else at every given moment but the thing is that it's not that simple there is so many more uh, factors that influence what is it that we choose to experience that gives us our experience and you know and then there is the law of attraction which is that's the law based on which we attract into our experience that that which we choose to experience and whether you know it or not you are choosing what you want to experience and then there's so much more to say about that but um, anyway uh, that's like the basics of why I'm doing this type of reading, which is to um, to have a look at your uh, what are the assignments, the soul assignments that you are being presented with by the universe currently and by your own consciousness. So I'm looking at the most dominant energies for Aries. For the people that are attracted to watch this video. Um, yes. 
So, guides and angels, please, the most dominant energies for Aries, for the people who watch this video. The messages they most need to hear about their ongoing soul assignments. I stopped calling them soul lessons because it's here because it, it sounds like you can hear it like soul lessons, like it lesson, like it's like somehow the soul is less. But so instead, I started calling them assignments because they are assignments because. What's happening right now at this time in human history is that we are closing out many, many, many old karmic cycles. And if you show up fully for the assignment, um, then you um, that you then you're more likely to close that cycle to to learn what there is to learn for you in whatever is showing up in your three D reality. And the other thing is that. Many different things might be showing up in many different people's 3D realities, but uh, they might be the same assignment, the same thing to learn. Um, most probably different karma to close out, though. So, yes, soul assignments. Soul assignments for Aries. For the remainder of October, most dominant energies, please guides and angels, here we go, Aries. Aries, the more. Let's see what else. I'm gonna try and keep this a short reading. Seven minutes intro is a very long intro. Because, and I'm gonna try and keep this a short reading because otherwise it takes me ages to upload things. So once again, if this doesn't resonate, please check out your other signs if you're watching this for your sun sign you can check out your moon your rising your venus we got the zebra Tarantula feels incomplete. So, one more card, please. One more card for Aries. The Scorpion still feels incomplete. And I was guided to watch, uh, to, uh, to have a look at the bottom of the deck. Which I never really do. Not with these cards. And we got the B. So I'm going to put that there. Alright, Aries. Let's see what messages come through for you. So the Moth, the first card that came out... This is in the alchemical sign, the, the element of air. And the moth is... Um, like being attracted to something. Like as in, I'm feeling this is your energy. Being attracted to something and... Being a little bit short, being short sighted about it, um, okay. I'm just this is just coming eating everything that, um, that's that comes toward you, 
or that's around you like um oh what's the word I, I I'm feeling it but just the word is um the word is not coming right now but it's just yeah uh, but eating um just eating anything and everything that's around you that comes your way um not not being grounded with with what you want like being attracted to towards your dream or a person or a project or something that you want and it like i this thing i said <laughs> eating everything that's in your way or what's around you i mean um and i mean like assimilating everything or taking in everything or just not not really being um okay sorry learning to be more picky like it's like okay in the past this behavior um might have burned you so now you're learning to use discernment um uh, guided by the higher dimensions as in not your 3d mind not your egoic mind uh, but uh, possibly like the higher um, influences such as your intuition, your third eye and your heart chakra. And why I'm getting that is because we have um, the moth is green, green and yellow. But I'm the feeling that I'm getting is heart chakra and third eye. And why I'm saying that is because I was looking at the zebra and it really stood out for me. Um, the third eye, um, the zebra energy, that's, this is fire energy, which is your element, um, Aries, you're a fire sign, so this is in your element, and so we get, it's very interesting, because we get one air, and, uh, and three, and three fire elements, um, and so it's like, Actually, sorry, two air. If I if I add the B, um, two air elements and three fire. So it's like um, I'm getting like um. So f you know, air feeds fire. Fire cannot be without air. So it's like, and it's also it's framed by air. Fire framed by air. So it's um, I'm getting um, purification, like a like a burning away that which that which hasn't served you about this behavior of um, just going for it and without like I don't know like it could be many things if if you wanna translate that into your three D reality could be a person could be a relationship could be uh, what you think you wanted like in work or it could be like food or could be you know it could be so many things it's just like this energy of of like good, whatever it is like it's right in front of you and it's just bam, like going for it and then burning yourself because you didn't use your discernment first and I'm, and I'm feeling that's what really you are learning and you're going through this fire uh, and you know coming from this air to this air that's like a major difference because the b is like uh firstly this card is like a very happy feeling while this one is like quite dark and sort of just like being in you know the moth is like it's a short-sighted and can't see anything and just being in the dark and but at the same time just like oh th there's that thing and it's like just bah, like like really like going for it and being attracted to it and but not using your discernment and not even seeing anything and just you know digesting like assimilating everything that's around you without using your discernment is this actually good for me or not and ending up with this other air energy of the bee which the bee is like firstly like I said it's really a happy energy but secondly to me the bee is an absolutely 5d being like like you know 
uh, how can this uh, this big body be held up by those tiny and fragile wings? It's just you know a bee. The bee is like such a miraculous being, absolutely like heart based heart energy, um, and. Uh, okay, I'm getting like um, your um, your your third eye, your intuition, you know, being really like like blasted open and uh, going when when you go through this fire, which I will talk about that a little bit more. But just you are going from that being blind and just uh, you're going to the this the energy of the bee, which is like. Um, guided both by the heart as well as the the higher realms and it's like and it's i'm almost getting like um you know um having having your invisible antennas like really like opened up like um your intuition is like really really litty with this um this being and then it's also heart based but the heart is informed by the higher uh, by the higher vis wisdom um, and just yeah like see this one this one just gets me into this energy just like seeing without seeing and like it's a lot of light like a lot of light in this in this space of your um, your th your third eye chakra um, And yes, also being able to 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 fly between or be between these two realms of the three D and the five D uh, via the heart. Um, and just uh, like really, it's a really like an upgrade to get you more. On your soul path because the bee is like like I said it's a it's a 5d being like a, a being of the heart um, like you know like with that because like, the, without the bee there is no life on planet earth pretty much because they do so much of the pollination and what we eat, it, they have such a big role in us being able to eat, us being able to sustain our physical bodies. And then the, and then the stuff that they make, right, honey, is like, is mm, the closest consistency to, to human blood outside of the human body. And then it has so much new so many nutrients and so much nutrition for the body and also for the mind and to sustain us and and antibodies like um the thing in uh like manuka honey like every honey contains what manuka honey contains which is the the, the com component is called propolis which is uh propolis is um really helping the human immune system um, and that's why I'm saying antibodies like it really helps to to heal or to uh, keep up our health so that's all that the bee is that's why I'm saying that the bee is this absolutely magical miraculous 5d being and anyway like how can you fly like with that big body and with those fragile wings and 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 the V still does what it does and it sustains life on planet Earth. Um, so that's like that's what I'm that's what I mean, like the the, the this absolutely miraculous 5D energy and also like being on your soul path, like actually working, like actually doing what you need to do in this 3D realm, rather than just going for it, like it's you know, it's a little bit of an Aries kind of thing. I, I'm feeling that that's a bit of an Aries energy of, you know, like really masculine and really, you know, go get it and going for it and um, 
like not like whereas for example your opposite sign libra will stop and use their discernment and they will you know and they will take ages to figure out what it is that they actually want and do i go for it or not is this really good for me is this really good for everybody else <laughs> so it's like uh, it's like really like and then also um aries life life path learning it's like um it's the opposite signs on the uh, on the on the chart in uh, the european uh, horoscope this is it's like a uh, example uh, libra's life life path life long learning is to integrate some of Aries um, be, like they are learning from Aries they are learning a lot of uh, what Aries is and assimilating it in a Libra way Where, whereas for Aries it's the opposite Aries is learning the, the uh, what they are not as good at as Libra is like really good at that stuff I, I know this sentence is not completely um grammatically correct but it's just whatever comes i'm sorry i'm just talking um so so like aries i'm feeling that you are assimilating at this time uh discernment and the whole thing that i'm getting like discernment um and discernment like from using your heart and your mind and learning to not get be like go for it and be attracted and just do it but like um to st like stop and think and like really use your discernment whether this is good for you and good for everybody else as well and then being on your soul path at true service to all doing your special work in this 3d reality which that's a that's a major thing like I mean, wow, good for you, Aries. If if this is what uh, what is coming on to you as a um, soul assignment, figuring out, and not only figuring out but actually being at true service to all and doing your special work in the three D realm. If that's what you're learning right now, wow, just that's like super cool. Good for you, amazing. Um, and then zebra is like um, so zebra normally is like a exhibitionist like likes likes attention and likes to be in the center of attention um, uh, but I'm getting for you is more like for yourself at this time given everything that I've said so far is like you seeing yourself you being honest with yourself you using your discernment about what it is that really you want what it is that like really makes you happy and then so we have these three fire signs and so that's why i'm getting air and it, like fire uh framed by air um it's like a, a purifying fire like like really going through this um this uh whatever it was that burned you like you like this time you really are going through it um and then um you get you gain a lot of wisdom from it you are you are most likely by yourself in this because the scorpion is uh, likely to be in um in seclusion uh by themselves um they are not yeah they are they, yeah, this the scorpion is just um, again. I'm getting um, finding finding this fire, finding this fire inside of you, and um, you know not using it in the right way. And may, and maybe I'm I'm okay. I'm also getting. Um, Uh, not to to not burn others like uh, sort of learning to contain yourself um lighting in the dark for yourself you being the light in the dark you being the light in your own darkness um and then the, and why i said just before that you gain a lot of wisdom 
in this. It makes sense. So it's it's a little bit like uh, the um, hermit. So a little bit like the hermit energy in the tarot for me. This um, these guys, and then and then then here you are ready for um, soul family. With this, by the end of this soul assignment, you will be ready for being with your soul family. To, to, to not be alone because this is like all of all of these other cards are they feel so um, like lonely to me all of them feel like uh, these these guys are these energies are solitary um, and then uh, gaining wisdom with the tarantula the tarantula energy is like um, like an old friend hovering and waiting and watching and knowing everything and also um, tarantula being a spider, a specific spider species, but as such, um, I'm getting from this one, I'm getting um, masculine energy, but the spider as such is, is feminine energy um, because, because they that is a feminine way of, and it's, and it's very opposite to the moth, a feminine energy of, of waiting and then everything comes to you because the spider sits in their net and everything that everything they need for themselves gets stuck on their net. So they don't have to do anything like, but they just wait and attract, kind of like attracting things, waiting and staying in one place not moving and attracting everything to you so that's like that's a very feminine energy so um but for some reason from the tarantula i'm getting a masculine energy um and also the scorpion i don't know why but uh, anyway so it could be that um like because the moth like that way of being um that way not that way of being sorry but the um the going for it is a masculine energy i'm not saying the moth what like i described how the way that i described it was um was you know like just being really blind and just going for whatever it is that's in front of you and then getting bur getting burned by it because you didn't use your discernment that's not masculine energy that's not what i'm saying the the part of this that's masculine is the going for it the taking the action all right and the tarantula is like uh, this um as a soul assignment it could be telling you to now just wait and attract wait and attract because you are going to attract everything that you need because that's just the law of attraction that's the law of the universe And then, once you have, you know, once you have seen yourself, once you are showing up in your fullest self-expression, and you gain this wisdom to know what that is and who you are, and you have been, you, you know, you, you became able to be your own passion and your light and your fire inside of your own darkness and you learn to contain yourself without burning other people and and you are going through all this like self discernment then you are ready to be with uh with others um and you know that's like you know and to go from to go from all this uh, to go from all this energy and end up with the B, like the most beautiful part in it is uh, the your your third eye, your intuition becoming really litty in your seclusion, and you know really turning on the wisdom because the tarantula again is about wisdom. It's like an old friend that has always been sitting in the center of your soul. Like that's the tarantula energy and then, you know, getting connected to that through your third eye. And then 
your intuition being like lady like like having these antennas and like feeling and knowing everything and you know to go through that growth in your seclusion then enables you and you know you become this 5d being in the th in the 3d and you know you, you you see who you are so it's so it's now easier to express who you are with all your actions and and you know working at the your soul work basically so yes these are your current soul lessons and soul assignments sorry soul assignments this is your soul study at this time and then uh we're at 30 minutes already and i'm i'm i have mentioned the tarot already in speaking so i don't know anyway i was just really drawn to pull some angel cards for you aries rather than going in with the tarot also it also because we are at 31 minute now and by the way what was under the b card was the hummingbird just to tell you and then the buffalo and uh so it's like a an air and an earth energy that is really really happy and miraculous really happy and miraculous and maybe it's coming that that happy and miraculous phase is coming after this when like probably november or could be later that's what i'm getting Okay, so what messages? Uh, any clarification or, or additional message? Clarification or additional message for Aries? Message that they most need to hear at this time. These cards are large. It says trustworthy guidance. You've received a wonderful idea as an answer to your prayers. This idea is real and trustworthy. You can safely move forward with it, knowing that we are with you every step of the way. Ask for and be open to receiving your support for anything that you need related to this idea so they're saying that um, this seclusion or like not I don't know like I'm feeling this current energy of seclusion like maybe maybe you're you spend a lot of time by yourself or you maybe you just if you're working on a project like there's not much coming towards you to go forward with that project or if if you were uh, waiting for jobs to come in like assignments like as in work like to make money kind of thing coming in and the current energy is that it's not it's it's not really working at this moment right now because you are because you are like it's your sole assignment right now to to not be frazzled and and working so much but rather just to um to sit with this soul assignment to turn on your um your third eye your intuition and to really get to know yourself or yourself who you are what makes you truly happy and not you know not not hide anything from yourself about that and really get uh, get to the center of your I don't know the tarantula always makes me smile because it's such a it's such a to me it's such a good energy this the wisdom that's in the in the core of your soul and you know and to to go through with this whatever burned you in the past to um to go through that fire in this seclusion so that then you become busy um, and so in this, what they're saying to me, what they're saying is that in this seclusion, you're gonna, you're gonna get trustworthy guidance 
from your soul like or from the angels or from whatever it is that there is like some idea that comes to you or came to you they're saying that this idea is real and trustworthy that you received this wonderful idea as an answer to your prayers how to go through this fire how to solve this thing that you are grappling with how to get more friends how to get more jobs how to get more bookings how to um how to get more ideas you know like all that they're saying that the idea that you're receiving is trustworthy and you should follow that idea and you can safely move forward with it knowing that we are with you as in the angels the spirit guides they are with you every step of the way ask for and be open to receiving our support for anything that you need related to this idea so if you feel like you need something r related to this idea to maybe manifest it or you know and if just they're saying just ask for it like and that is because of the law of free will which we have in this 3d reality um which is a, a big gra big grace like it's really what it makes possible is amazing and yes there is a lot of um danger with that as well but that's why it's such a grace that we receive um to have free will so so that's why um you have to ask for it like if you want to rely or use if you want to start relying on um angels and spirit guides they are saying you need to ask for it they cannot help you unless you ask for it because of the law of free will if you don't ask they cannot do anything because you have free will so if you ask for help regarding manifesting anything that you are manifesting right now in this process they're saying ask for it and then just wait and trust and it will come and anything and everything that comes as an idea or, or as an you know additional ideas to your first idea just trust it and go with it and take the action okay that's it that's been your reading Aries I hope that uh, this has been helpful uh, if you like this reading please uh, like share and subscribe it really means the world to this channel um, thank you for visit visiting my channel and see you soon Namaste and aho to all our relations. Bye-bye.